Hi, I'm Alexandria from alexandriabarker.com. And if you were just watching me a minute ago, had some technical difficulties. <laughs> so here we are again. I just wanted to check in, see how your new year is going and perhaps offer some tips and suggestions on how to really rock this year because we really can have all that we want to have. And it's just a matter of envisioning it, holding that vision and just not allowing any of those little niggly doubts and worries and concerns to jump in and take over. So I know uh, on my list, things like just being active, doing yoga and Pilates and you know moving my body, that's a really big thing right now to help just to alleviate any stress you might be feeling, any tensions. It tends to get trapped in our bodies. So we need to give it some form of a release, whether that's kickboxing or going for a run or anything just to get moving, get the heart pumping and, uh, you know, um, also eating well, lots of water and mostly just staying as happy as we possibly can. And I know right now, if you're, depending on where in the world you're watching from, we're at varying degrees of lockdowns and, and restrictions, but even even considering that, it's still a beautiful life and there's there's so much that we can accomplish that we're really just the only ones holding us back. So I wanted to share, uh, this is a reading from, actually, a, a spirit guide reading that I did. Not spirit guide, but a spirit reading that I did. And I just, I typeset it all after recording it and I just wanted to share with you. So this is from um, my group that I connect with, that I call I call Sparkles. And I asked for a message to share with you all. So I'm just going to share that with you now. Uh, so the words that they have is um, that we would say, dedicate as much time to your joy as you do to developing your bodies or developing your minds. You know that this time in play is well spent. This time relaxing and allowing your barking dog. Uh, they're talking about ego which is a, a term of reference that I learned from Sonia Cochette, which is now in, in me, and my spirit uses that also when they want to remind me to think of my, my ego as a barking dog. So when you hear that, that's where that came from. Um, allowing your barking dog to relax and go for a snooze. Playtime is time well spent, so indulge yourself, not just during the holidays. Many of you are back to the grind, as you say, and that does not sound like a lot of fun to us. And although some of it you feel you must do, what ways can you bring more light, more joy, more magic to those moments? You could intend to see more joy. You could intend to see the magic. You could say, show me the magical moments. Show me the things that would make me smile. Show me the things that will make me go home and journal about what a wonderful magical day I had. And as you set this as your intention, it will come to fruition. More money, more joy, more love, more laughter, more humor. Anything you wish to draw to you, focus on it and see it as already there, already done. So this message for everyone is to be happy in every way that you can and also avail yourself of all this vast knowledge finding its way to you right now. Know that you are all here with the purpose of enjoying your life and raising your vibration. Ah, this very powerful vibration. It is a very high frequency and it will yield the results you are seeking. Take heart. It is the dawning of a new day. New things are happening and you will be hearing of new wondrous developments in your world and they will lift your spirits and enliven you. The days of struggle and strife are gone. They are done. Make that your intention, beloveds. Hold the intention that it is done. That peace now prevails. That you, are all that you already are the goals you have set. You are already there. Oh, what a peaceful feeling that is to sink into. Does it not feel wonderful? That wonderful feeling is going to bring more. Take the time to see yourself happily enjoying whatever you wish. You are creating as you are thinking and feeling. You are streaming consciousness. You are consciousness streaming more consciousness, streaming your reality into being. So try this as an experiment so your ego might suspend disbelief. Play it as a game. How good can I have it in my own imagination? How good can my life be? 
Can I have fi full financial freedom? Can I be loved and in love? Can my health be vibrant so that I can barely contain all the energy I feel coursing through my veins? Can I be so happy that nothing, nothing can bring me down? That only the highest vibrations can penetrate because I am a match to the highest of all there is. Let that be your goal. Sit with it and feel how good that feels to have arrived and know that you are a success, whatever that means to you. And breathe. This is such a good feeling. Know that we love you. We love you. Everyone listening to this, we love you so much. So take this into your heart, our darlings. Feel all this love. Feel that you are that success. Yes, you are that success. Yes, 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 in every way. You are living in abundance. You are happy and strong. You have loved ones. You are loved and loving. Your business is growing. So be happy. And for now, we are complete. So that is my message from Sparkles, my spirit. And I do regular channelings, channeling my higher self. It's my spirit and my angels and whoever else, sometimes ancestors pop in when I'm doing this as well. So uh, I hope you will, um, I hope that meant something for you personally. I feel like if you were drawn to this live, that there was a message there for you. So take it to heart. And uh, if you want to connect with me, I do Akashic Records readings and Akashic Tarot. And also I do connect with other people's uh, higher selves for them. So uh, message me for details and have a beautiful, wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching and big love, everybody. And we'll talk to you real soon. Bye for now.